Hey everyone, have a haul here for you. Uh, one thing from Garcia's Port Bella Road, uh, some things from Barcelona. This is a box, well, a tub full of TK Maxx, some things from Whole Foods, and a few things from the range. If you haven't been to the range, you've got to go. I'm sure you all know about it, but if you're looking for, uh, you know, like a um, a place to find home homeware household items for a great price and lots on offer you've got to check it out google it see where your nearest one is mum and dad, mum and uh, my auntie went and they um and she came back she says oh you will love it you will love it she bought a few things i could have included that in the hole but it means digging it all out because she went a while ago but she got a few bits she was made up it's like it's basically like a wilkinson you know how they have their all the all the homeware stuff in wilkinson or or even like tesco or something like that um but there's so basically think of wilkinson and the homeware section it's basically like that but on a much larger scale it's got two floors so much on offer and you know a reasonable price but there is literally so so much choice if you if you've got a new place and you're looking to deck it out go there the range highly recommend it as you can see i didn't pick anything up that's um <laughs> homeware but i you know i was strapped for cash so um but i you know i'd love to go and you know spend a fortune in there anyway right so i shall get started on these few things here so um my baby she um seems to have a bit of a funny tummy at times and we're not hmm, terrible lighting right let's try oh gosh i should have done it the other way around really let's put it here we're using the proper camera now so i'm gonna have to be focusing on everything that my bloomin show which is a pain uh yeah she has a bit of a funny tummy so we're going to try her on this baby stomach tea and it says that you can use it from birth oh suitable from two from second week onwards so she is at the moment uh, while i'm filming this um six weeks on monday uh so we're going to try on this it's organic herbal tea new nooners um, baby organic, baby stomach tea. Tips best organic. Won an award. Um, it's got aniseed, fennel, caraway, chamomile, and thyme. Free from caffeine, sugar, or artificial things. Yeah. So, we got. Oh, Louis's mum got those. She ordered those for us. Oh, I think Louis did, I can't remember. Because Louis got me this. He went to Whole Foods and he loves to pick up bits. He spends ages in there. Because I normally wait in the car because we can't really park. But he came back with this. He loves to bring back treats. I love it. Um, and then he noticed there was a baby one as well. So I've been drinking this. We have some here. And this is just what it's like. Just a little packet like that. And it's really nice. It's got like a licorice -y sort of taste. Mm. Yeah, so if you're caffeine free, sugar free, all that lot, vegan, organic, herbal blend. If you're looking for a nursing tea or something like that, if you're a new mum, try it out. I highly recommend it. And he also got this because I notice all the mums that I follow on YouTube, they all use coconut oil. Extra virgin, 100% raw, cold pressed, organic, beta cocoa, and it was only £4. You, you know, you can use this for absolutely everything. Everything. Google the benefits of coconut oil. I'm sure you all know. But I haven't been using it yet because, well, I could use it now, but she had a sore bum and my mum made a good point. She said... She's not sure about oil-based creams because she said if you think about it, if you put oil on something, on like a burn or a blister, it's the oil is going to react with the heat and, you know, it's going to just make it worse. And I thought, yeah, that's a really good point, actually. So now that she's a bit, she's cleared up her bum bum, um, it, I, I think it's bad, but everyone tells me, oh, no, that's not bad at all. But I, 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 I think it's sore. There's nothing worse than sore movies and down there it's horrible um so we're going to try on that and um because you know uh, i've read someone said that you can put it on the boobs you know if they get sore and all that sort of stuff so it's just got multiple benefits um and then i shall move on to this he drove us all the way to portobello because he hi guys
our feet i'm in his bedroom and this is where he wants to sleep he like he i found him in here sleeping in this little patch here because he lies in the sun and i'm oh just having my tea in um this is actually not the nursing one it's in my really posh mug which mum got me because she said it looked like garfi it's absolutely gorgeous from t2 it says dream away to the land of a thousand sips or oh, absolutely gorgeous it's one of them teas where it's like you put it in a little thingy put the um the actual tea oh he's found another spot look at him he's so cute i'm sorry garvey i'm disturbing you you want to be sitting here yeah they're the actual tea leaves but yeah, he drove us there and he'd phone them up and ask them if they had it. And apparently he used to have this when he was a baby. And it's some Spanish spray or something that you put on the head, on the top of their head. Look, it's got that ball. Don't like that. Spanish delicate, 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 delicatessen <laughs> cafe and online store. Um, and they've just got all sorts of stuff. If you've been to Porto, you would have seen it. Um, it's as you come into Porto Bello, if you're driving... Um, down that road and <laughs> rubbish directions but I can't think of the actual road oh we are oh it is Portobello road 246 or 250 um and they've got food and all that sort of stuff and so you come out he also got this perfume spray for himself but I don't know what he's done with it and it smells really sort of lemony it's really nice it smells really rich and sort of Arabic Arabic -y sort of smell lovely um and then he got this and it smells divine and it's just a Fragrance original, nu Nenuko, probably completely wrong. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know if it's testing on animals or anything like that. Is it in a, it feels like it's in a glass bottle. No, it's just very, no, it's not, it's just sturdy plastic. And it smells lovely. You can probably imagine this sort of smell, it's sort of, I describe it as sort of chemistry smell, but I don't know if that's sort of insulting the smell, but. I think it's really nice. Really, really lovely. So we got that. And then mum and dad picked up a few things from Barcelona on their trip for me. So I thought I'd share it with you. Got to keep the bag. Barcelona is my ultimate favourite team. I've said it many times. Um, I got into them after the Spanish World Cup. And I was never into football, really. I used to watch it with dad as a young one. But I was never really into it. But um, I was blown away by uh, David Villa and Fabregas, Iniesta, Xavi. Xavi's my ultimate favourite. Xavi and Iniesta. And I just couldn't believe how well they played. And then I got really got into Barcelona and just I became obsessed with watching Barcelona games and Pep Guardiola. But I've gone off him now, so he's gone to Man City. Cause I don't, not because I don't like Man City, but I just think it seems like he's all in it for the money now because he's just got to the team that will pay him the most anyway let's not talk about football who wants to talk about football oh darling i thought you were gonna go and see to the baby she's just having a nap my darling girl i thought you were gonna go and look after her he loves her he's obsessed with her he's always sitting by her and if she cries he comes to get me and tell me or he goes and sits by her crib Oh, my darling. She's having a nice long nap. I managed to get her down for a nap. Um, I like to get her to have a good long nap during the day. Not too many, though. Because then she'll be up all night. Anyway, so mum and dad got her this lovely teddy, Barcelona. Isn't this lovely? And um, they got some caps for us. Got one for Stephen, and he's already got his. I chose this one because I like this bit. I wanted to get the T-shirt that was like this, the football shirt. Um, I, I've got two shirts. My friend bought me one actually, and Louis bought me one. And uh, this one's Louis's, <laughs> and then this one's Mum's. I think they're probably good. yeah. And uh, and Stephen's got one. And then they also bought. The little baby, this cute little top. It's not to three months. Oh, she'll be able to wear that now. I'm gonna get her in this in the picture. Actually, I think she might be a bit, still be a bit too small. It's quite long looking. Barcelona. And 88 is the year that I was born. So, that's, I don't know why. I said, why does he say 88? And they were like, I don't know. But um, I don't think that's why they got it. Put that there. And then in here, it just says World Duty Free. I've got this at the airport. I don't know. I don't think they've got any. Maybe the chocolates, actually. Um, I think they've got a few things from the markets. 
hair all out and it's a bit over here. Um, they got her this really cute little teddy and um, no toy things. Garfield toy. And it's on this spring. I love how it bounces. And she was actually mesmerised by it when they gave it to her. It's just a little tiger, I think. Or is that a cat? I don't know. I love little bits like this. How cute. <laughs> um, and some sweets. I must have got that from the sweetie market. Now I've heard all about those. Um, when I was younger on my MySpace page, I used to have the background of the, you know, the, the sweet markets at Barcelona. If any of you have been or you've seen the pictures, it's just mountains and mountains of sweets. Um, yeah, I'd love to go for that. It's sort of famous and that. Uh, and then they got her this toy. And I love it. Louis loved it as well. Let's open it. Yeah. I love the orange colour. Maybe we'll do orange for her bedroom. I'm really, really into orange. Look at this. Apparently I had one. My mum said she said I used to be able to do it. <laughs> it's a little tiger or a little... No, you're not a tiger, love. You're from a tiger. Imagine having a miniature lion in your house. Imagine having a miniature tiger in your house crazy when are they going to come up with miniature elephants imagine having a miniature bear in your house isn't that lovely do you like this little toy he's got these little building blocks it's in a bad mood I'm not going to ruin that spot as well don't worry don't worry I won't ruin that spot as well and then they got some of these chocolates for the kids I think they've already given some out put that there so it doesn't melt okay i'm gonna do tk max last i'm gonna do these bits from the range so didn't pick up much but i could have bought loads uh louis got a couple of pens he's already taken some into work his new job and he got some spray stuff for the car um he got these baby on board signs he's already put one in his car which 25p and they're all like 150 in the shop so like two pound odd got that i picked up some duct tape i don't know what i'm going to use it for but i love watching duct tape videos on youtube and i would i'd love to be able to have the time and the patience to be able to make a duct tape wallet I've wanted duct tape for so long so many years and i just had to buy it i don't know why it was three pound um, maybe I'll use it when I send parcels and that out to people. I picked up this little uh, make your own bead bracelets Shopkins thing for Savannah and it was £1.50 I think or one no one ninety nine. and it, I thought it was good because it's got those little circle bits I thought it was something she could do probably the sort of thing you'd find in Poundland um, and I also got her this bag this was £5 I don't know when I'm going to give it to her, probably just as a little present when she comes around. And I'm going to get something together for little Jaden as well. So I could just put that in there for her. And I also picked up this. Now, this was the sort of buy. <laughs> this was a silly buy and I didn't need it. And I don't know who I'm going to give it to. And I don't want to give it away. <laughs> I bought this for my girl for when she goes swimming, which is years away yet because you never see these anymore you never see them and i used to love my swimming bag when i used to go swimming at school and louis said he never had one so he had to put it in just a normal bag and i thought how tragic that is so tragic for you having to walk around with wet bag the reason i love this bag these bags you're gonna know why i love the smell of them i used to love my swimming bag when i was younger armbands swim bags oh brings back so many memories and that is why i bought it because i thought well if she is going to go swimming and you can't find these anymore she has to have one of these she just has to um oh yeah just reminds me of being young and i just oh i just love spending of course as you can imagine i got it right out in the shop and had a good old whiff <laughs> 
might you might be able to find these i might just have not seen them for a while but um let me know in the comments if you if any of you still know where to find these bags so uh yes i'm um, maybe i will give it away to one of the little ones um or maybe i'll keep it for my girl and i also got these signs now they had a lovely strawberry one and i wish i bought the strawberry one now but louis said don't worry because his mum's allergic to strawberries and we're going to give it to his mum i thought this would make a nice little present to give to his mum for all the things that she's done for us and all the things that she's bought and that the baby so and i said to louis i said should we get it for your mum he said yeah yeah definitely she'll like that because their kitchen is red it is french and they're spanish but um well his mum's not spanish but his dad is um, but it doesn't matter. And I also got the raspberry one. I just think they're so nice. Now, this bag was £2 and these were 6 99 each, which is a bit much, but they are nice. And I just thought they'll make a nice little present. Hopefully she'll like them. They have loads of these signs. Not these ones, but like, you know, live, love, laugh and um, all sorts of quotes. And But done really nicely. Done really, really nicely in really nice frames and that um so okay i'm going to move on to tk maxx i have quite a few things in there let's crack on okay so how should we do this let's i'm gonna no that's not not a good idea okay what is that if i went this way oh, that's better Garfield's not in the shot. <laughs> okay, so I needed a, a, a larger tab. I already got one. I showed it to you. I don't know. I don't know when I would have uploaded it, um, but I filmed it ages ago. Um, and it's just got Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now they have loads of really nice, colourful ones. But she's in my bedroom at the minute, and my bedroom is sort of like a dusty pink with the uh, cream. So I thought we'll keep it to that. You know colour theme for now when she gets her own bedroom she can have all the colourful ones but they had such lovely colourful ones and I really wanted to get the colourful ones anyway I got this boring one but it says little princess and I mean it'll go with everything it's just got these pink and white straps it was six, oh, 9 99 a bit much a bit much but we need one because we're clearing out her crib to try and get her to bloom and go in it uh, we think we might be in luck because um she started going in the Moses basket. So we're going to put her in her crib so I've got to clear out all the blankets that are in it. Um, Louie got her these on a separate trip. It's just this posh little make sterling baby. It's got these lovely little chossies of a headband. I really need to hurry up before she wakes up. 5 99 crib shoes and headband set. Crib shoes? How odd. Um, oh, okay. So... He picked up this Sukin Refreshing Facial Recovery Serum. So, let me... Oh, my hand's gone stiff. Let me try and... Okay. So, it's that Sukin, um, or I think it's organic, paraben-free, anyway. Not tested on animals. Oh, this is terrible. This is why I like filming on the phone. Mm, can't see never mind all that good stuff great brand highly recommend it use lots of things from there then he also bought this now i am in love with this i'm in love with it i saw it and i was like we have to get this i just love the pattern i love cherry poppy red i love it my favorite i think it's my favorite color it i just oh eight pound reduced from 14.99 i wonder why it was so cheap and it's 2.5 tog and it's good from 18 months onwards so obviously <laughs> another thing for her for when she's older but we have a little box going um oh look and cherry poppy red really goes with this dusty pink like my socks color so that's what the zip is um, and it's one of them sleeping bag togs, and I just think this is the nicest one I've ever seen. So he got that. Uh, I got this because I'm following someone online called uh, Tracy DIY Mum or Tracy DIYs, 
and she says that she swears by this uh, bath seat I think it's the similar one it folds down this one even has a little even has a little mobile um, and it was a good price 16.99 they had a smaller one for baby you know for babies to go in their baby tub but she's already got like the the arch in her tub to keep her up but this I thought would be great for when I get in the bath of her if I do <laughs> I want to three position recline mirror with movable toys folds for storage or travel and she says she swears by it she says she can even put her baby outside if you know if it's a summer's day so it doesn't sweat and that and it's breathable and it dries quickly she says she swears by it so I thought I'll pick one up um Louis also bought this posh little rattle um, and it's doo doo et compagni compagni 100% <laughs> pom 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 and it's really soft and I saw all the different toys they have he sent me a whatsapp picture of all the different toys and it's just the softest thing I've ever felt uh, I would like to check what material it is because I do hope it's not Angora but it's got this posh little label and it's just really really posh and Louis loves to buy her all posh stuff like expensive stuff they have really nice teddies in, and they come in the boxes and everything and this was 4.99. These were 5.99. Um okay. He also bought her this Sukin, same brand as the other one, bath and body wash. Eddy Energy Saver, sulfate and paraben free. Clean gently cleans busy little bodies. So it's for kids. And we've been new, and this is 4.99. And it's got all that good stuff. No animal derivatives, no harsh detergents, no propylene glasser, no artificial colours, no minerals, no EDTA, no parabens. Australian owned and made, 100% vegan, no animal testing, 100% carbon neutral. Great brand. Highly recommend it. She loves it, and it smells lovely. And that was 4.99. Um, and he picked up this. Oops, we already have one of these. This one was on sale for £2. And we know why now, because it don't spray. And it's just a hydrating mist toner. And it's great. Uh, alcohol and paraben free. Combines chamomile and rose water. All oh, rose water is fantastic for the face. Uh, yeah, love it. But we might have to change the spray over when the other one's finished. He also got these. These smell divine. He got one for my mum for her birthday and one for me. I can't remember which one's mine. I chose the wild, yeah, you know, wild ginger lily, soup tube, intensive hydrating cream, product of New Zealand, shea butter, chamomile, vitamin E, and it's got none of the chemicals. I think it's organic. This one is once upon a time fig black. Gardenia, and this one says two and Kahili. Kahili, oh, cool names. Um, amazing, smell lovely. I think they were five ninety nine each, so a bit much or four ninety nine. Um, then I got her some garments. She's grown out of all of our newborn stuff, so we're going to need to rush to the stores to get more not to freeze. Um, I just picked up these ones for now, um, and they were six pound reduced for seven ninety nine, so not much of a thingy. But we love these sort of cool prints and that. And I just love these little birds. I love it when they draw birds like this. Oh, I just love it. Um, and I love the ones that button at the front. I can't be bothered with any other onesies or clothes for that matter that are too hard to get on because she hates it she screams and it makes me nervous her nervous and it's just a nightmare you just dread dread changing her when when they're not easy to get on but i, I love the ones that have got the mittens built and these ones don't but also the feet she's got loads of lovely clothes in that um and you know we put them in there for photos and you know dressy up type things but we don't keep her in it for long because she just loves the onesies um, and then I also got this. I know it's probably for a boy, but it doesn't matter. And this is 
Marimekko. Louis seemed to know the brand, I don't. And I just love it. I just think it looks so nice and it's really soft. And it's just like the shorts. And this is for nine months and it was reduced from £7 to £5. This brand is Baby Gear. 100% cotton and this just feels so nice obviously it doesn't button up at the front or anything but I think this will be reasonably easy to get on they're gonna think she's a boy in that <laughs> um, and then the last thing I got was this headband I forgot about this actually from Capelli and it was 4 99 so not bad um, and I just I don't know I didn't really need it, but I just thought this is going to be my new thing. I'm going to wear this all summer. I hope it's going to fit around my head. Yeah. Grubby, I can hear your tail wagging. I'm going now. I'm going now. So that was it. I'm going to end on this because I just love all these bits. I just love this so much. I'd love to get, like, curtains made out of this print or, like, a duvet. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't know when I'm going to upload this because I still haven't uploaded. It's probably going to be in about a month's time. I still haven't uploaded my announcement video. I still haven't uploaded any of the hauls I've filmed months ago. I'm just... Oh, it's been a nightmare. Every time I try to sit down to edit these videos, I just have other things to do, as you can imagine. But I better go and check on my baby. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you're all doing well and I shall speak to you in the next video. Bye guys.